Full length subnet masking, or VLSM, RFC 1812, can be defined as the capability to apply more than one subnet mask to a given class of addresses throughout a routed system. Although this is common practice in modern networks, there was a time when this was impossible because the routing protocols in use could not support it. Classful protocols such as RIP version 1 do not include the subnet mask of advertised networks in their routing updates. Therefore, they cannot possibly learn the existence of more than one mask length. Only classless routing protocols, EIGRP, OSPF, RIP version 2, and BGP, include the subnet mask for the networks they advertise in their routing updates and thus publish a level of detail that makes VLSM possible. The main push for VLSM came from the need to make networks the right size. Subnetting logically creates the appropriately sized networks, but without the capability for routing protocols to advertise the existence, for example, of both a slash 26 and a slash 30 network within the same system. Prior to VLSM-capable routing protocols, the network in our example would have been confined to using only slash 26 masks throughout the system. The use of VLSM has two main advantages that are closely linked. It makes network addressing more efficient and it provides the capability to perform route summarization. The diagram shows several branch offices using subnetted class C slash 26 addresses that provide each branch with 62 possible host IPs. The branches are connected to the central office via point-to-point -point WAN links. The ideal mask to use for such a link is slash 30 because it provides only two hosts, one for each end of the link. The problem arises when the routing protocols are configured. Prior to VLSM, the slash 30 networks cannot be used because the slash 26 networks existed in the same system and the classful routing protocols could only advertise one mask per class of address. All networks, including the little slash 30 links, had to use the same mask of slash 26. This wastes 60 IP addresses on each WAN link.